brewing backlash, fans of Sean Hannity are smashing their Keurig coffee machines after Keurig pulled its ads from Hannity's show. The protests began after Hannity's interview with Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. WBZ political analyst John Keller is here tonight. And John, this is becoming a familiar sight. It sure is, Liam. Now, the concept of boycotts dates back more than 130 years to an uprising of tenant farmers in County Mayo, Ireland. But the advent of social media seems to be turning the application of economic pressure as a political weapon from a last resort into a knee-jerk reaction. Call it the modern-day cost of getting too close to a hot potato. You can quickly get burned. On Friday, Sean Hannity gave Roy Moore a radio forum to state his case. This woman has waited over 40 years to bring a complaint. Four weeks out of an election, it's obvious to the casual observer that something's up. Immediately, websites like this one were encouraging social media pressure on Hannity advertisers to pull their spots. And barely 24 hours later, Keurig and several others were gone, telling this tweeter, thank you for bringing this to our attention. But what exactly was it they were reacting to? Caution, you are about to enter the no spin zone. When Hannity's colleague Bill O'Reilly got the boot last spring after similar pressure sparked an advertiser exodus, it was over revelations of sexual harassment. Claims that it depicted the assassination of President Trump prompted major sponsors to bail on a new production of Julius Caesar last summer. But these local veterans are boycotting NFL games simply because they disapprove of player protests, just as Hannity's offense was simply expressing more sympathy for Moore than his critics deemed acceptable. So amid the sights and sounds of Keurig's being destroyed in response to the Hannity boycott, you wonder, is it time for everyone to switch to decaf? All right, so here's the latest, yeah. Liam. Just hours ago, the CEO of Keurig apologized for pulling those ads, said a lower-level employee made that call and said he didn't intend to take sides. And Hannity himself has called on his fans to stop smashing their Keurigs, noting that he has five of them, which does raise a question. What do you need five Keurigs for? <laughs> That's a lot of coffee. As you said, there, it almost seems like there's backlash, then there's backlash to the backlash, now right. there's backlash to the backlash to the backlash. It's like the fun house with all the different mirrors here. It's getting a little bit out of control, and at times it's got a whiff of the mob to it on the left mm -hmm. and the right, but we'll see if we can get this all sorted out by switching to decaf. <laughs> I, would have, I would bet that Best would Best idea I've had in a while, I think. <laughs> John Keller, thank you very much.